A new study from the University of Pennsylvania Law School suggests nearly 1,000 Georgians each year are falsely, falsely arrested because law enforcement wrongfully trusted the results of a roadside drug test. These $2 tests are popular among police to immediately determine whether a substance found at a traffic stop or a crime scene is an illegal drug. Fox 5 Night Team reporter Randy Travis has spent years profiling people whose lives were damaged by these wrongful arrests. And Randy, you're here to share with us why this study is so significant. That's right, Courtney, Tom. Yeah, this uh, study was partly funded by the Roadside Drug Test Innocence Alliance, which was created following our original investigation and others around the country. We were the first to determine the true extent of this problem. This study says it's likely far worse. Their stories are worth repeating because their stories could one day still be yours. Adorable couple jailed for weeks because a roadside drug test wrongly said their folic acid vitamins were ecstasy. She lost her job. He missed a swearing-in ceremony to become an American citizen. And I would like an apology. This woman spent three months in the Monroe County Jail after deputies decided a roadside test proved her bag of blue cotton candy was actually meth. It was not. For this Rockdale County man, it was just breath mints. For this Georgia Southern quarterback, it was just bird droppings. All the drug charges against these people eventually dropped after an actual crime lab revealed the truth. These $2 disposable field tests and the cops that used them got it wrong. Do you think these tests should ever be used? I don't think they should be used in, in the way they're being used now. Analyzing police reports and crime lab data, the Fox 5i team discovered 145 false positives in Georgia in a single year. Five years later, researchers at the Quatrone Center for the Fair Administration of Justice conducted their own investigation. 82 law enforcement agencies agreed to a nationwide invitation to cooperate with the study, representing 22.5 million citizens. The result... A stunning projection, 30,000 Americans falsely arrested each year due to faulty field test results, including nearly 1,000 in Georgia. Well, what is different about our estimate from uh, your terrific reporting on this and the information that, that you were able to collect from Georgia, our estimate doesn't depend on those cases being submitted to labs at all. Not all cases, not all arrests are submitted to forensic labs. Not all arrests are submitted to forensic labs, even though the instructions on the box say to basically do just that. The study's authors estimate a 3.7% failure rate for these tests, which, if true, would make them, quote, one of the largest, if not the largest, known contributing factor for wrongful arrests and convictions in the United States. Despite that, Georgia police departments and sheriff's offices continue to use them. Are you worried that, that these tests right here are causing people to be wrongly arrested in Georgia? Yeah, it, it, it appears that you know there may be a certain degree of false positives. And if that is all the police officer is relying on, is just what that test said, then I, then I think that's a high risk uh, of uh, putting somebody in jail that shouldn't be there. We asked Butch Ayers with the Georgia Police Chiefs Association to poll his membership. 68% said they still use the roadside drug tests, but only 26% said they had a policy requiring additional evidence before making an arrest. The study author believes requiring extra evidence, along with better auditing of the results, will ultimately be what it takes to avoid more people going to jail for simple possession of vitamins and cotton candy. That combination of of uh, reforms could could uh, significantly reduce, if not eliminate, the issues that are stemming from these tests. We reached out to see what the two biggest manufacturers of these tests thought about these disturbing estimates. Neither responded to our request for comment, which was really not surprising because they didn't mm -hmm. respond to our request for comment for our original investigation. Not either. to mention those who were accused probably are out thousands of dollars of legal fees only to get exonerated after all this. And they don't get the money back because they try suing and they can't win because the police have sovereign immunity. So all these people suffered and got no monetary damages because of it. Which leads to the question, are these still admitted? Admissible in court? Uh, you know, roadside tests? The study uh, looked at all 50 states. There's only one state in our country where the results of these drug tests are admissible in court. Georgia. Wow. wow. Now, we knew that a couple years ago when we were looking mm -hmm. into these tests, and we researched, and we could not find any case where it was the only evidence presented in a drug trial. There were other 
other bits of evidence as mm. well. And the study authors are hoping that at least the news of their research will prompt re prosecutors to also require additional evidence in Georgia and other states before they decide to use the results of the oh, study. Your heart just goes mm. out to those who were wrongly accused yeah. in the middle of all this. Wrongly accused, not convicted, but just being arrested. Wrongly yeah. arrested is yeah. enough to really mess up your life for a while. Sure, sure is. is, yeah. All right. Randy, thanks. Thanks, Randy. You bet.